I'm Julie. Hola! And I'm Lauren. <laughs> and this is Dwelling on It. <laughs> Today we're going to be focusing on layering pillows, layering fabrics, as well as texture through various fabrics and prints. Um, I prefer something kind of minimal here uh, that doesn't compete with everything. So it's just a nice little detail. So once you have your fitted sheet already down, we're going to put our top sheet on. I'm gonna just kind of spread out my fitted sheet, make sure it's nice and smooth, and wrinkles, and wrinkles. Then we're gonna take our top sheet. Now, one thing that a lot of people do, um, I say incorrectly, but for lack of a better word, is to, to put the top sheet on like they did their fitted sheet with the print side up. But we're actually gonna do that the opposite way. We're gonna face the print side down. So I'm gonna start by spreading all the way up to the very top of the bed. And then I'm gonna make sure it hits just at the floor where it needs to be even all the way around. Okay, so next we're going to tuck the sheet in. We're going to do it with hospital corners. But first we just want to tuck the end part all the way under, nice and tight. Okay, so then to get our nice tight hospital corner, we already tucked the end. And now this is just hanging down. So we're gonna take this top part and we're going to just put it straight up. And then this part that's underneath, we're going to tuck in. We're gonna fold that upper part down. I'm kind of still keeping this nice and tight underneath. And then it gives us that pretty, that pretty crease right here. And then tuck it under. Now, I'm gonna leave a fair amount out right now because in a minute I'm gonna be pulling this back and then we'll do a final tuck. As I mentioned, texture is really important when we are layering a bed. And this is something that I picked up actually on Amazon. It's just a soft waffle weave coverlet. Pretty thin, so it doesn't add too much weight. And the first option I'm gonna show you is putting it on as our next layer. Now this is going to give a lot of that hotel bed feel. Okay, now we're just going to tuck it in. If you want to do hospital corners again, that's fair. This will be beneath the carpenter. Okay, next we are going to add the layer of either a comforter, duvet, whatever you use. Um, quick plug for Target, I got this duvet cover there. It's by Casa Luna. It is, um, it's linen, but it is so incredibly soft. It doesn't wrinkle too much like a lot of linen. Um, but one of the things I love is that it has a zipper at the bottom instead of buttons. So buttons aren't popping off and pieces of, of um, you know, down comforter aren't sticking out. And then also inside it has the usual corner uh, attachments to keep everything together, but it also has them in the middle and the sides. So I kind of love that as I'm pulling my covers up at night, it's not just sagging in there. So love, love, love this. It's um, on the higher end of affordable for Target, but it's definitely better than some things that you could buy. So we are gonna spread this up as our third layer. Just make sure it's pretty even all around. Okay, so again, to get that sort of hotel look, usually their beds are really fluffy and puffy. So we are gonna start by folding back the comforter. One time, and then a second time. Okay, so now we are going to fold back the sheet and the coverlet. And this is why we originally put the sheet face down. So as we fold that back, I'm gonna to come to the 
the blanket. Okay, so then next we're gonna take our sheet and coverlet. Some people like to just let their covers drape down and that's totally fine. Again, if you want kind of that hotel vibe, then you can tuck this in. So we're going to go ahead and tuck here. Kind of make that hospital corner here. So now we're going to start layering our pillows. I like to start kind of at the midline of the bed. I like to do two bigger ones in the back. These are actually longer or wider than a Euro pillow, but if I had a Euro pillow, which is a perfect square, then sometimes I do three of those on a king bed anyway. And come in, this will do that mid midline. This the midline. There we go. So next we're gonna layer the pillows that we sleep on. Um, my husband and I actually don't like sleeping on king pillows, so we have a standard size pillow, but obviously with all king sets, or most anyway, you get the long um, pillowcase. So I just want to show you a little trick that you can do. You can just tuck, kind of like an envelope, tuck the one side closest to you down into the pillowcase, and then that inverts the rest of it. And now it's nice and sealed. So now we have the king size pillowcases that go with my duvet. I'm just gonna lay those right on top. So I love a couple decorative pillows on top of all the other pillows, um, much to my husband's dismay. Um, if you are like him, I hear you, I see you, but we're gonna do them. So there was a little hole back there between the two uh, standard size pillows where I like to stick one like this. That's probably about a 20 to 22 by 22. And then here is a nice oversized lumbar to finish it off right in the front. Last but not least, it's a super, super cozy throw blanket. And I believe that it's called a throw blanket so that it's made to look like it's been thrown. So we don't fold this up and make it look perfect. We actually kind of toss it on the end like so, and let it break over. 